Uh, the plot of A New Brain is about a 30-something writer of a children's television show called Mr. Bungie's Lily Pen. Uh, I play Gordon Michael Schwinn, and uh, he's this gay Jewish guy who writes songs for a children's TV show. So remember, boys and girls, frogs have so much spring within them. Jump, frog, jump. Lily pads are your next stop. Kerplop. And he is required to write the music and lyrics for this children's show, and he doesn't like his job. He gets a brain uh, thing. Ulterior venous malformation, which is a bloating of the blood vessel to the brain, and at any point, uh, he can have an aneurysm and die. Something is wrong. Gordon, you're scaring me. Something is very, very wrong. They take him to the hospital and he starts hallucinating and dealing with uh, the potential limitation of time. Um, I play Rhoda and she is Gordon's best friend slash agent. Is he angry that he doesn't have the spring song yet? I bet. No, he's angry that he doesn't have the yes song. I hate the yes song. I hate the spring song. I hate Mr. Bunchy and his child. Mimi Schwinn, Gordo's mother. She is very obnoxious and she doesn't really listen to Gordo and she always has a way of making everything be about her. They're very self-centered um, and kind of bipolar too. She gets upset at her son very easily. Her son's really rude to her. Um, but she always can tell that she loves him at the end of the day. I play Roger and I am Gordo's partner. Often get pushed around by nurses, but uh, it's a fun part to play. What's going on inside his brain? Um, I play Richard, a uh, fat nurse. Um, basically, uh, he's a nurse that really hates his job. Basically, is mainly the doctor throughout the whole musical. No one really realizes that he does most of the duties throughout the hospital. And it is older, getting grayer. Stop your courage before, cause it hurts before. Hell, it's just for a thing. Help me, I'm a player. I play two characters. I start off as a waitress who is really um, perky and bubbly, and she loves the TV show The Quarter Rights for, and she's just kind of obnoxiously cute. The fish is a fish, but lives in the sea. As said in the dish, it happens to be the fish of the day. Uh, my second character is a bitch. Her name is Nancy. She's the head nurse, and she's just really rude to Gordo and his family and everyone else, really. She hates Richard, the nice nurse, who's really big. She always makes fun of him, and she calls herself the thin nurse. And I play the minister. Which is really originally meant for a guy, but I have a very low voice, so they gave it to me. I feel like my character is kind of like a spirit, spiritual guide throughout the show, and um, she kind of constantly brings she or he, whatever brings Gordo kind of like back to reality and like make him, even though like he doesn't end up believing in what my character wants him t to believe in, I feel like she makes him think about the bigger picture. Um, well I play a guy called Mr. Bungie and he is the star of a children's TV show that Gordo writes songs for and I 
come to life in this brand when he starts having brain problems. Mr. Bungie said to me, show for high school with a new brain because the topics seem to me to deal with um, kind of valuing where you're at and the moment you're at and I think a lot of high school kids get pushed to think a lot about the future which I think is important it's also what it talks about but about knowing that where you're at right now the grass is usually very green on your side of the fence enjoy it don't always think that there's something better around the corner live in the moment you know take every day as a blessing type of thing um, so I think it's very appropriate for high school kids. The character development needed to do this show is also extremely important when you're learning theater to do characters like this. So I thought, you know, how much high school kids try to tackle these kind of char characters I think is a good thing. I like playing this character because he, I don't know, he gets me out of my, works me out of my shell. It's something new. I've never done something like this before. You get a whole feel of just a ball of energy, you just don't know where it comes from. Um, I've never, I've always kind of played like more of the ingenue role, and I get to play like a big, bold Jewish woman that's obnoxious, and it's so much fun. I love it. This has been like much more collaborative, like we got to help block some stuff, uh, Schaefer listens to our input a lot, and so that's been kind of fun. I love the professionalism on the show, and, and my wonderful cast members, and the directors, and I feel like I'm being treated as a professional, which is really nice. I've really liked being in this show. Because it's just, the music is so much fun. It's a, it's a lot different from a lot of the musicals that I've seen. I think my favorite thing about the show is the music. Because like every show I've ever either like been in or worked in, by this point, I hate all the music. But this one, I was just like, oh no, they're going to sing Sailing now. Yes! Or like every single song I still love. I love it. It's so entertaining. Like every, I've watched the dress rehearsals and stuff like maybe like 20 times. Because being a director, you get their assistant director, you get to do that, and that's why I like directing more than stage directing. Anyway, um, I watched it like 20 times and I never got bored. So it's been a lot of fun. They like they just I hit the ground running and it was it's been crazy and it's been a lot of work, but I've had a blast. And it's been so fun. I've had a lot of fun with the show. Um, it's a really fun part. It's a really great show. And I love, love, love when I cast. It's my last show, and I feel like it's a great show to end on. Yeah, I've really enjoyed working on it. I think it's a great show. Um, I'm really happy I got to do it my senior year. Um, it's definitely the most worthwhile experience I've had at Webster. It's got a lot of really different points to really make with it. Like, it's really going out to, you know, say something about, you know, gay relationships and hospitals today and just sort of life and how to deal with things and it actually teaches you some life lessons. Really, I want people to leave knowing um, the, the value of time. We, a lot of people don't think about their mortality per se because it's kind of a rather depressing topic and the play kind of touches on that in the second act a little more than the first, but um, by the end of the second act, we, you know, we, we assume that maybe the main character is going to die, so we see the worst. But it does end it very happy, and I think the reason why William Finn wrote it to be happy is he wants the audience to walk out knowing not everything's going to end badly, and that if you do kind of take your opportunities and value the people around you, the time you're given, um, and the things that you have in your life, um, it's, 
It's gonna make you a better person. Hey,